do you want to use the Insta 261R 1 in to shoot 5.3K video with your own choice of lenses? Do you want your 1R video look cinematic with a shallow depth of field, creating a bokeh or buried background and foreground? Do you want to turn your 1R 1 inch mod into a 360 or VR 180 camera with professional fisheye lens like the Antonia How 250, 200, or the Izuga? Do you want to dust out your old C mount Pentax lenses and use it for cinematic video? Well, this video is for you. Introducing Backbone Insta with your 1R unit for both the 1 inch and 4K mod. It allows you to attach any Micro Four Thirds lenses to your Insta with your One R and instantly transfer it into a professional cinematic camera that shoot up to 5.3K. Just look at the beautiful fully shot on this unique setup with Backbone. Now Insta with your One R is for real the most versatile camera in 2020 or even 2021. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up, the channel that brings you the latest cool tech in the 360 camera industry. Like the latest modification of the Insta UC 1R 1 inch that allow professional cinematographers or 360 filmmakers to leverage the small size of the 1R 1 inch with high-end cinematic glasses. The image quality as you see right here is absolutely breathtaking. It has this unique vintage look, cinematic in camera lens flare and shallow depth of field. Just look at the ocean. You can't get this in any action camera, no way. By the way, if you just want to get the Insta with your one hour one inch mod, now it is a good time. If you click my link down below, it will give you a free Insta 360 battery when you purchase the one inch mod along with any promotional Insta 360 is currently running. It will only work if you click through my link down below. So use it to save yourself some money and drop me a thank you comment. So let's talk about why you want to modify your already beautiful Insta 360 one inch Leica or the 4K mod. Let's make an image comparison so you can see how much the image quality increased by using a nicer lens. First, we have the Insta 261R 1 inch Leica in narrow view as we are trying to remove all fisheye distortion to have a more cinematic look for a fair comparison. This is straight out of the camera in ISO 100 and shutter speed 1 over 60 in a 30 frame per second 5.3K video. We can see everything is in focus. It looks good, but not cinematic. Now, also pay attention to the color. It looks accurate, but it's very boring in my opinion. Now, let's take a look at the Backbone 1R 1 inch modification with my Rokeon 24mm in f-stop 1.5, ISO 100, and shutter speed 1 over 60. The result is night and day difference. The backbone modification looks super cinematic in terms of shadow depth of field and colors. And you see our actress moving the focal chart in and out of the camera to show you the blurry foreground as well. If we want to remove the shadow depth of field, we can change our aperture to 5.6 or 8 as you see right here. Still, the footage looks more cinematic than regular 1 inch because of the focal length and the colors. Besides, fully use every available pixels from the Insta 1R 1 inch image sensor. The advantage of Backbone is allowing you to control FOV, depth of field, aperture, zoom, and focus. While the regular Insta 1R, you can only control ISO and shutter speed. Backbone is a must if you want to use 1R to create cinematic video. Not only it can capture those shallow depth of field, old school film look, having control of aperture allow you to keep the 180 rule in filmmaking. So you have realistic motion blur like a pro. I also discovered the natural lens flare while shooting with the backbone and my Rokeon, aka the vintage look. 
It looks absolutely stunning during the golden hours. In camera, lens flare is something you just cannot recreate in post-production. And this is one of the cheapest ways to get you the vintage film look in 5.3K. Yes, one heart is a 5.3K camera. And that is why this is an epic and budget setup. Not to mention, you can use all the vintage C-mount menu lenses. As a film director, this is opening up a limitless opportunity. So, who should get the Backbone 1R mod? Well, this mod is designed for filmmakers and cinematographers who are going to use 1R to shoot cinematic video on a budget. This is by far the lightest cinematic and action camera hybrid that allow you to shoot stunning video with beautiful lens flare. With the brand new series 30mm f1.8 anamorphic lens, you can get yourself the world's smallest anamorphic setup that shoot at 5.3K, 4K and 60 frames per second, or 2K and 120 FPS. This is the next tutorial by the way. I will show you my cinematic build guide so you can build an action camera and a movie rig with a super low budget. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for this epic build. But you do need to know how to manual focus and do not need to rely on flow state stabilization. You will not have stabilization, so you should get your 1R on a gimbal or tripod when using backbone. When using the 1R backbone, pulling focus will be the issue. The small LCD screen on the 1R is really hard to tell if your subject is in focus or not. With the manual lens light in f1.5, nailing the focus will be an art. If you are not comfortable doing that, this is not for you. You are turning your 1R into a vintage film camera. And if you don't know how to shoot on a vintage film camera, then why bother? Here is an essential tip to help you to nail focus on the backbone. Double tap the LCD screen will zoom in your 1R before or during recording. This is a great feature to make sure you nail your focus. Use it. Also, with the backbone modification, your camera is not waterproof anymore. So don't do stuff like me. Get the camera too close to the water. Whoops. <laughs> Install 260 told me they are working on a special firmware just for the backbone unit right here. This will allow you to use your phone or iPad as a secondary monitor with USB cable, light video preview in the app for a larger and sharper preview image with no lagging as well as some other optimization for the backbone. It will also add focus peaking to help you pull focus and they will remove Insta360 lens color profile and has a very special lock mode for creating flat and durable cinematic footage. By the way, Flowsay is not completely disabled. The night exit IMU is still working inside the Insta360 and can keep your video level. Rumor said that Insta360 will further improve flow state to work with Backbone. Backbone is not a hack. It is a great collaboration between Backbone, which is a Canadian film company, and Insta360 to push the boundary of filmmaking with action camera. Backbone camera setup is in lots of major Hollywood production. It is actually a very well-known brand in the film industry. Now, let's talk about 360 and VR180. As you see right here, I'm also testing the Antanaya How 250, 200, and the cheap Izuka Fisher lens right here that I pop out for my old ZKM E1. With a back to back setup, we can finally have a 1 inch sensor for 60 video or side by side as a VR180 before Insta360 roll out their official build. With professional glasses like the Antonia, the image quality will be even better than whatever Insta360 can come up with. So, there is certainly an advantage to get your hand dirty. I will save the in-depth 360 portion for my next tutorial. Lastly, let's talk about photography. Old school photographers who do not rely on autofocus will also greatly benefit from the backbone setup. Insta360 has night shot that help digitally reduce noise in low line. When combined with a nicer lens, 
it does produce stunning photo as well. So instead of having a heavy camera gears, 1R Backbone is all you need for your next adventure. I hope you enjoyed this initial review of the Backbone Instar UGC 1R modification. I am getting a set of vintage C-mount lenses, both macro and telephoto lenses. I think the true power beyond just cinematic video is to get up close in detail or zoom in way far to capture subjects. Macro videographer is an art, and now we can do it with one art for cheap. We will also build the world's smallest anamorphic camera setup. All this coming in the next Backbone Install, which is your 1R video. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And I will see you in the next video.